Sarah? Of all the things you weren't expecting, finding me here had to be near the top of the list. Have you been following me? On the contrary, kiddo. I think it's you that's been following in my footsteps. Speaking of which, have you been enjoying the trials? I'm not sure how you found your way down that path, but you've obviously impressed the gods, just like your mother and I did. You are being much calmer than I expected about all this. You aren't the first member of your family to sneak away and attempt the trials. I remember raising more than a few eyebrows on my run. This from the favored daughter of Oshter? <laughs> I always respected Oshter, especially compared to some of her siblings. And my mother? I think she saw something of herself in Autumn, but she was never one to flatter the gods. She seems to have no issue kneeling to Cathon. Is that really what you believe, Hunter? Uh, I cannot say. At least you've kept an open mind. I'm not sure I would have. I have tried to remain neutral until I know more. If you've come this far, then there's really no point in hiding it anymore. This place, sealed and hidden away beneath my mother's garden. This was you again. Something else you wanted to lock away. Would you believe it's because I've been a stubborn old woman for far too many centuries? Yes. This may be difficult to understand, given what you've been told, how you were raised. But your mother isn't the bastion of evil the world knows her to be. Yes, I know she was not the mother of demons when she was with my father. There's more to it than that. I told you of her work to find a cure for his illness. There was nothing she could do. And when he passed, she accepted his fate. But then, the corruption came for you. I was sick? I do not remember that at all. I'm not surprised, given the cure. You were so young, so vulnerable. Lilith was inconsolable. If she had been desperate to heal your father, she was now completely unhinged when it came to curing you. But she did find a way. We had thought to bury it in this place forever, safe from not just the greedy eyes of petty men like Shaw, but from ourselves. The Darkhold. Yes, and sensing your mother's desperation, the damn thing called out to her. There within its pages, Lilith found a way to protect her child. Straight from the great shadow himself, Cathan. And as payment, she pledged her eternal devotion to him, reborn as the mother of demons. She gave herself to Cathon for me? You were her only child, and she loved you more than anything else in this world. In her mind, it was no sacrifice at all. You were all that mattered. And you still let me believe she was a monster? For your protection, I only let you see her as she is now. But what she became... What she became? I barely recognized. She may have been your mother, but there was no way she could be your mother ever again. And so you cast her out? She was weakened from the transition. Some part of her soul still struggling with the corruption infecting her, I suppose. I knew I would only have the moment, and so... I struck, drove her from the Abbey. From you. It was the only way I could protect you. In my mind and in my heart, I believed that the Lilith I knew would have done the same. But then she came back. Yes, it took her years, but she finally returned. Of course, by then, she had become something far different. The rest, as you know, is history. Until now. I thought by sealing this place, by avoiding the truth, that it would somehow make all of this easier. But I also knew someday we would have this conversation. I need time to think about all of this. I know it's a lot to consider, 
I don't expect you to take everything I've said at face value. Thank you for finally sharing the truth, Sarah. Thank you for listening, kiddo.